Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and yes, again, we have another friggin' Seiko. I know, I know, why is it always Seikos? I love them, I love Seikos so much. Um, but no, I just, I had to get this watch because I'm using the case for a new mod that I'm working on, so that's gonna be real cool, guys. I'm gonna work on it after this video, and uh, that should be really cool. So I figured, why not do a review? And uh, this is the SNK M67 again, and it's probably been discontinued as I don't see too many of these still available. I got this one on eBay for about 80 bucks, and I figured I might as well do a review. Anyway, this uses Seiko's 7S6, uh, 7S26C automatic mechanical movement, which for those of you who don't know, it just uses a series of springs and gears that when fully wound releases the mechanisms that enable time to happen. There's no batteries, not solar powered, solar, solar? Not soda powered, solar powered, and um, not kinetic, which is just another fancy quartz watch. So it's a very old school design, and uh, we love them. We watch connoisseurs love our old school mechanical watches. Uh, no winding and hacking, which means you can't pull out the crown. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. There you go. You can't pull out the crown and stop the, uh, the seconds hand that means it's no hack it's not hackable there is no winding which means you can't wind the movement manually it, it is only a shaky shaky automatic mechanical movement and uh, I'll show you the back in a little bit but it is it is pretty nice isn't it it is actually pretty nice so uh, the movement beats at 21,600 BPH which enables that almost really smooth seconds hand it employs 21 joules to make sure everything goes smooth to smooth around. It uh, has a power reserve of 41 hours, which means if you set it down after wearing it for a, like a full day, it'll take about 40 hours to fully unwind and then it'll stop, which which then you just give it a couple shaky shakies, set the time and date, and you're good. The accuracy is said to be minus 45 to plus 35 seconds per day, which is within spec from Seiko. It doesn't mean that that's how terrible it is. Most of these watches will be about maybe plus 10, plus 10 seconds. This one seems to be doing pretty good, about plus 8 seconds per day. Not bad at all. The crystal is Seiko's proprietary mineral blend. And uh, it's not the best crystal you can get, but it's good enough for their, for their price point. Uh, it is a water resistant to about 30 meters, which means you can't just only get it splashy, splashy, wash your hands, maybe take a shower with it. I wouldn't. Um, I mean, I can totally... I mean, you can totally take a shower with it, but the more you do so, the more you're going to start wearing away the seal around the crown and the, and the, the case back. Uh, especially soap, soap and hot water will degrade those seals over time. You might not want to do that. If you do shower with it, cold water and try not to get soap on it. So uh, the crystal, uh, oh, this is crystal. The case is 316L stainless steel, uh, which is probably the same for the bracelet. It's the most common material in the watch industry to use and it is just it's just uh, brushed on the top not very well I'm going to get closer here oh yeah. see it's not very well look at my dirty nails gosh dang it. it's not very well brushed um, it's okay and the sides are polished polished pretty good though very nice this watch does have a nice slim profile Zoom back out here, and it, it is it's 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 pretty nice. I like it. So what else? Uh, another case back there. Let me just get real close there. Can get it? There you go. That's the automatic mechanical movement. The seven S seven S seven S two six C. Very very well known movement. A workhorse movement. Uh, super affordable, and it's just uh, it's pretty good. Not the best looking movement, but very nice. The bracelet is absolute garbage hate the bracelet uh, it's still it's a good bracelet but I hate it uh, it's weird it's a love-hate situation it's a uh, I don't know man it's like uh, it's very thin noisy it uses uh, folded links as you can see there they're all folded they're hollow it has a uh, it has hollow end links Wait, we can see that right there the end links are hollow real cheapy stamped uh, fold over and a uh, typical Seiko dual release mechanism. The buckle area is actually pretty nice. I really like it. It's, it's at least it's at least it's signed. Um, but uh, overall, the bracelet is rubbish. This watch on a strap will look really good. And I'm not really sure if I want to do a straps videos, guy. Guy? Hey, hey, guy. I'm not sure if I want to do a straps video, guy. 
I'm not sure if I want to do a straps videos. Videos? <sighs> And press the rewind button. I'm not sure if I want to do a strap video, guys, uh, because it's a Seiko 5 that's been almost, most certainly discontinued. If you want me to, I'll totally do it. If maybe like 10 or so of you say, please do the straps video, Master Kurt, the universe protector, lord and savior, I will totally do it. <laughs> but uh, if other than that, let's... Uh, Let's get to the measurements, shall we? All right, the measurements, my favorite part. Here we go. Uh, all right, then. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, for the case, we got 39.1 millimeters. Yes, it's a 39 millimeter Seiko 5. Lug to lug, got 45.6 millimeters. Uh, thickness, I got 10.6 mill milliliters. <laughs> milliliters? 10.6 millimeters. And lug width, I got 20 millimeters so it's a very healthy size Seiko 5 not not a small little one it's a very nice size that's why I love these series the M67 the M69 M65 M63 M79 very nice shaped and sized cases so let's put it on my wrist here I did not uh, size this bracelet for my wrist because I'm not gonna really use it so I'm just gonna kind of do that wait I'm, I should probably zoom out oh I, I twisted it let's zoom out there you go so it does look nice, doesn't it? it? Does look nice. It's very good size, kind of a good, kind of a nice little profile there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like this size, which is obviously what she said. But uh, yeah, so hey guys, check this out. Uh, here comes the loom jingle. We're gonna do the loom check. Check the loom. Check the loom. Make it glow. Check the loom. Use a light. Make it glow, check the loom, check the loom, check the loom, check the loom. Okay, we got everything set up. I think that's a good idea. You make a, the loom jingle. <laughs> Did you guys like that loom jingle? Mad props. If you know what that's from, super, super props. Using my ultraviolet light, found it, searched for it, found it, and uh, ISIL's already set up. So we're checking it up against the Orange Monster. Some might say that's an unfair competition, but it is my baseline. So let's turn off the lights and do this. Boom, we don't need that much because it's a UV light. Orange Monster just killing it. But that little Seiko 5 is holding its own. Excuse me. It's holding its own. No, it's not. It is dying. It is dying. It's dying, guys. It's dying. It's dying. It's a slow death. It's a slow death. That monster, though, just brilliant. Just handling it. Just making making an ass out of that Seiko 5. But the Seiko 5 still, still hanging on. It's a, it's a trooper. It'll last, mm, let's say, about half the night compared to the monster. The monster will last all night to your adjusted eyes but the Seiko 5 is it, it'll be completely completely done by the time it's like 4 in the morning or 3 in the morning or 2 in the morning uh, but yeah that's the loom check guys and uh, how about you know what one more for the boys uh, where, where, is, where is it where is it where's the light I don't know where light is okay one more for the boys just gonna pay attention to that one Oh yeah, now that's fair. <laughs> but watch in horror as the Seiko 5 slowly dissipates into the doldrums of the night. Interesting how the monster is kind of a blue hue. But it's not, that's just the camera. Camera thing. Anyway, that was useless guys. Let's turn back on the lights and uh, let's uh, let's see what the boys have to say. All right guys, we got the boys here. Boys, what do you think about the Seiko 5 SNK M67? I like gold. I like gold. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that rub that bracelet is rubbish. Uh it it's real rubbish. I, I tried to eat it, but it didn't taste very good. I want to say something. In that song that we just sang in that in that loom loom check stuff, which is really by the way, is the best thing we ever done. Uh, I, I would have sang better had I not taken an arrow to the knee. Oh boy. 
You really, did you really say that? Oh my god, what a nerd. You are a, you are a fucking nerd. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, uh. You know what? I'm gonna end this video because you're such a nerd. Not do it then. Okay. Alright guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. And may your peanut be happy.